episode 895, When All Else Fails. It's time to train for life and love your journey. In this episode of Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie, you'll learn new ways to rediscover, rejuvenate, and renew your mind, body, and spirit. Please welcome your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Staring at a stop sign, watching people drive by. Happy, happy day. You made it. It is Friday. It is confession day. I hope you are ready to let down your hair and say, you know what? I'm going to let it all hang out. Okay, maybe not all of it, but when all else fails, what do you do? That's what we're chatting about today on Confessions. For those of you who are brand new to Creature Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already haven't had the opportunity, opportunity, you'll want to head on over to createyournow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. Woo, what a week. How was your week? Do you feel like you're just kind of like, I just, I just got to stop for a moment and yet you still can't even stop, right? You're already looking at your busy schedule this weekend. Can you believe 4th of July is around the corner? Yes, for those of you us here in the U.S., we're going to be celebrating really, really soon. Maybe you're already making your fireworks list. Well, when all else fails, what do you do? Because we have those fireworks that happen in our life, and they're not the pretty ones that always go off. They're the obstacles, the challenges, those mountains that we're trying to climb over and go around because we're looking at another mountaintop. But we got to get not only over the mountain, but through the valleys. Sometimes you just have those moments in your life where nothing comes together, no matter how hard you try. When all else fails, what are you to do? Where are you to go? What are your options? You could choose to hover in the mess, wrapping yourself up in the mud blanket. Do you have one of those? They're real fun, aren't they? Because, you know, frankly, this is probably the easiest reaction to follow through with. You know how you feel. You're comfortable with those feelings, but it doesn't get you the end result that you really want. We all want something in life. Our children want something in life. Our spouse desires something from us or from life. But sometimes we want a different result than what we're getting. And so if you're wanting a different result, you have to look at, well, what are you currently doing? Is that working for you? Are you ready to do something you've never done before? Are you ready to go out on a whim, maybe get out of your comfort zone as we hear kind of thrown in the winds? We can call it whatever we want to call it, but I want to call it an adventure. I want you to think of it as an adventure. Change is an adventure. Transition, transformation is just something new and fresh. Yeah, it's a little different. But you're a little different today than you were 10 years ago, than you were 20 years ago. Hopefully for the better. Maybe some years, maybe there were a few moments in your life that, ah, they weren't so good. But when all else fails, what do you do? You go with your gut. That is your kiss to keep it simple strategy. Go with your gut. You know that tug you feel on your heart. You know you have those decisions you have to make. And you're like, man, I I just, I got this feeling. I can't describe it, but it's this feeling. The nudge that says, go here, do this. Go with your gut simplifies a sometimes stressful situation. And in a stressful situation, we need simplicity. Because what happens is when we bring in our, we make it more complex than what it needs to be, what do we do? We go hover in the mess with our mud blanket. And we're happy there because we're already in touch with our feelings. We already know what's going to happen because we know nothing's going to change. Be honest with yourself. It's confession day. I know with me and my children, uh, you know, it's summertime. We're at home. And I really try to have them do some different activities. And sometimes I have to push them out of their comfort zone. I have one or two that really don't want to go to the pool. And then I have another one who would live at the pool. Then I have me that, well, I've got to work around the pool schedule to be able to take care of the clients and coach and and take care of creation now and take care of the family and go and do activities with the children. It is, yes, a balancing act, and some days I do it better than others. But we all are trying to look and, and find what works with us. And when we have our children, 
teaching them to go with their gut as they're growing older to listen to themselves. You see, that's what's happening here. When you go with your gut, you're beginning to listen to yourself. And when you stop long enough, what happens? You can deflate a stressful situation. I know, we're moving. It's stressful. I'm pulling my hair out sometimes. Okay, not literally, but at times I really feel like I should be pulling my hair out. It's not fun. There's a lot of things dangling in the air. But when all else fails, what do I do? I go with my gut. I go back to what I know. So let's break it down. What is going with your gut look like? Number one, you got to see the facts in the now. What do I mean by that? You got to see the facts. I didn't say your feelings because you're already emotionally there or you're emotionally not there because you're so strung out. Regardless, you got to see the facts in the now. Present them how they are. Take away those feelings as much as you can. Now, yes, maybe something happened and you've got a sting or you've, you know, you're a little shocked or you're like, whoa, something that like, well, I wasn't expecting this. Okay, those things happen. Yes, you need to react and have the feelings, but then you need to settle in and you need to see the facts in the now because you got to go with your gut, right? How are you going to respond to this? What's going to be your response? Remember E plus R equals O? Event plus response equals outcome. You want to change an outcome, change something, you got to change your response. You got to see the facts in the now. Number two, you have to clamp the anticipations. Whoa. Yeah, I'm talking about those fears. I'm talking about the worries. I'm talking about the unknowns. You got to clamp them down. We get ourselves overly worked up, overwhelmed just because of our own thoughts. You got to clamp down on the, on the anticipations. You don't have control of that. You don't have control of what's coming at you tomorrow. You can make speculation. You can use some deductive reasoning. You can kind of guesstimate, estimate, whatever estimate you want to use or however you want to put it in such words or terms. But you got to clamp the anticipation because that's just adding to what? Your stress factor. Cortisol levels are going up. You're getting moody. You're probably a little short on your temper, so you're yeah, easily angered. It's not looking real good for you. Can you relate to this? Yeah, I know you can. Because this probably happens every other week when all else fails. Go with your gut. See the facts in the now. Clamp the anticipations. And number three, take aim. Take aim with one step at a time leads to miles of greatness. When you clamp down on those anticipations, you know what that does? It opens up that door to take that next step. Because you're not trying to sit there and control everything you have no control over. I know, I've been there, done that. I've tried to meticulously orchestrate things together, and sometimes it works out, but it's never of my doing. Never. I might like to think it is and smile a little bit and say, yes, I got this one done, but no, I didn't. God did. I didn't make it all come together. I just continually took the next step. One step at a time leads to miles of greatness. Go with your gut when all else fails. I don't want you to be stuck in stressful situations for no reason. And we get that way all the time. And quite frankly, I'm getting tired of it. I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired of it. And in my discussions with my children and, and this summer and trying to schedule them with the moving, and I mean, we've got everybody coming and going. I've already told you how we've got all, all of us are under one roof. And um, eventually my daughter will be going to her new apartment, but it's not time yet. And so we're all here. And that's great. It's awesome. But when you've got seven of us kind of going seven different lives, I mean, we're each individuals. We're, you're, we're each unique. Now, no, the kids, the younger ones don't have complete freedom. The older ones have more of a freedom. But we all are living our lives. And with that comes what? All the extra emotions, all these feelings. And some days I wake up and I'm thinking, I need about five dumpsters to take away all the stress that everybody's feeling or the anxiety or the, mom, I don't know what I want to do with my life. Or, mom, can I just go play with my friend? And I'm bored. Think about everything that has been said this week in your household. How many trucks 
could you actually fill up? You know those big dumpsters that they bring when they're building new homes? We have a lot of new construction in our neighborhood, and it's wonderful. I love seeing communities being built up. It's fantastic. But they have these huge construction dumpsters, you know, for whether they're new construction or renovation, and, and they're huge, right? They're probably like, I don't know how many trash cans you could fit in one of those dumpsters, but a lot, a lot of trash could go in there. That's what I'm talking about. How many of those big kinds of trucks, dumpsters, could you fill with what's happened in your life this week when all else fails? Go with your gut. You see, we try to control way too much. And sometimes... It's just all about the next step. After we release ourselves from the anticipations, we see the facts for what they are, we can take the next step because now we see what's right in front of us. Instead of dwelling, being overcome by chaos, stressing ourselves out by all the thoughts that come in our head, because you know how many thoughts we have that come in our head that are more negative than positive? You know, tens of thousands are there. And there are more negative thoughts than positive thoughts. And when you begin to go down that rabbit trail of what ifs, buyer beware, because you're sinking yourself into what? Yeah, Ah. Uh, Man, I'm stressed out. Now I'm really stressed out. Now my tummy hurts. Now I don't want to eat right. Now I'm not sleeping good. I have no energy level. I'm depressed. I'm flustered. Confession is good for the soul, isn't it? It is. It feels good to kind of let it all go. When all else fails, sometimes you got to do that. Want some help with it? Click on the link, take aim. I would love to come beside you. It's a complimentary coaching call with me. Seriously, it's complimentary. That means it's free. You heard the word F-R-E-E. It's free. But you have to make the first step. Yeah, maybe your first step is this. Take aim. Click on that link. Open up that form. Fill it out. An email will be sent to me. It only comes to me. And I will be contacting you to schedule you a one-on-one coaching call with me. You matter. What you do in this world matters. God created you on purpose for a purpose. He doesn't want you lingering in the stress. No, he never promised that our life was going to be nothing but rainbows and sugar plums and fairy tales and all of this. No. Would we all love to live in Cinderella's castle and have the perfect life? Maybe, but that's a fairy tale. We're in real life. So it's time that we look at what matters most in our life. When all else fails, what matters to your heart? When all else fails, when you remove the stress of the chaos, what matters? You matter to me. I know your family means something to you. Go out this weekend with the urge to impact. Yeah, I want you to impact this weekend. I want you to impact with your smile because you know what? You feel good. You're strong now. You have released all the craziness and you're like, okay, I can't control everything, but I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to go with my gut and I'm going to break it down. And something's going to happen. I'm going to take that next step because that next step is going to lead you to your miles of greatness. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, love, and lots and lots of hugs. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.